Huh. So stop daydreaming and pay attention. Not that anything is wrong with daydreaming. How do you think I invented my occipital observatory? Yes, dreaming. It began with dreaming. Listen, what do you want to be when you grow up? Have you thought about it? Yes, well, you'd better. You're changing, growing fast. You had better start dreaming, thinking about what you are going to do tomorrow, the day after, even with the rest of the afternoon. That's what today's show is about. Dreams, goals, what you want to do. Now get on with you. You're holding me up from repairing my observatory. Oh, on the way up, remember to look out, kids. Look out, the book is mine. I'll show you the way. Look out. Pretending I was a great ballerina. I want to be that one day. You'll never make it. Hi there, kids. Hey, Troll, what's happening? <laughs> Troll, I think Joey just hurt Carissa's feeling. Carissa was pretending to be a great ballerina, while Joey said that she looked dumb. Listen. Everything good that anyone has ever done started with a dream. I try to tell my teacher that, but she keeps on stopping me from daydreaming to do my math. Daydreaming is fun. Sure it is, but we have to be careful not to let it get in the way of what we have to do right now. Will I ever get grown? I want to be a great ballerina so badly, it seems I will never grow up. Sure you will. Be patient. But for now... I think I'll practice. Good. Maybe you'll practice enough to be in the school talent show next week. And then you better look out, kids. Good for you, Carissa. Stick to your dreams. Oh, you again. I suppose you saw how impatient Carissa is to grow up. She's just like the rest of you kids, impatient. And then when your body starts to change, you get scared, afraid of all the changes that are happening. You remind me of Wooly Willy. Wooly Willy, the caterpillar, of course. He wanted to grow up, but was afraid all at the same time, just like you. Yes, <laughs> well. Somewhere, perhaps somewhere near, close to the ground, under a leaf that had fallen from the apple tree, perhaps this year or last, there lived Wooly Willy, the caterpillar. Each day, Willy would crawl from under his leaf, stretch from his rounded body to his tiny head, and try to reach the sun. It's not fair. Not fair at all. Then just what isn't fair? Inquired Adrian, the apple blossom, who dropped in. But not too far, since caterpillars often eat blossoms. It's not fair that I must be content to stay low to the ground and crawl around while all the world is free to see. It just isn't fair. Things will change, you'll see. Nothing stays the same. Did you know I will not always be an apple blossom? That's ridiculous. Of course you will always be an apple blossom. <laughs> no, someday I will be an apple. You will not. You have gone completely fruity. You are a flower, not an apple. All things change, was the reply, and Adrian returned to the tree. The woolly found no comfort in what Adrian had said. All things change, all things change. Bowie, nothing changes, and I shall always be as I am, doing what I am doing right now. Just then, Wooly heard strange wheezing sounds. 
Who is a gasp? A puff puff. Who is a gasp? A puff puff. What are you doing? He asked the tiny man, attempting to lift some very large weights. I am a wheeze, attempting to a gasp, a build up my muscles, a puff, a puff. You're trying to change yourself. No, I'm just trying to make the best of what I have. It isn't any use, said Willie. You are always going to be as puny as you are, and I am always going to be crawling on the ground, because that is the way it has always been. Not so said Adrian the Apple Blossom, who just happened to drop in. All things change. They do not, shouted Willy Willy. Even what you say never changes. Every day you keep saying, all things change, all things change. But every day everything stays the same. You make me tired. You make me so tired that I think I shall go to sleep. And I may sleep for a long, long time. And when I wake up, everything will still be the same. And so Willie wrapped a silken blanket around himself and fell fast asleep. And don't try to wake me up either. After what must have been somewhat of a long time, Willie woke up. This blanket feels very snug, very snug indeed. As Willie struggled out from the blanket, he discovered something very strange had happened. He found himself high above the ground. Oh, dear! he exclaimed. I am afraid! And began to flap his arms wildly. Only instead of arms, he discovered wings. Oh, my! Oh, dear! Oh, gracious! And he began to fly. This is scary! It is as it should be, came a reply. I want to be on the ground. You can be. It is in your power. What has happened to me? You have become what you were intended to be, a butterfly. And now you have the ability to fly as you've always wished. Who are you? I am Adrian. I am now an apple. All things do change. It just doesn't always happen as fast as you think it should. How wonderfully frightening and how frighteningly wonderful, said a thrilled Wooly Willy as he flew high above the tops of trees. Changes spinning so fast, it seems out of control. It seems, oh, oh dear. Oh, oh, that's better. Oh, yes, you there. Yes, sometimes things change faster than we wish. Now, where was I? Oh, yes, I was dreaming of my next invention. What? Of course I still dream. You are never too old. Everyone needs goals. Listen to Cindy, who is visiting upstairs in the treehouse. Cindy! Cindy! She's a dancer! Oh, all right, here, take a look. There she is, Cindy Tenier. She's danced at King's Dominion and was chosen Miss Maryland National Teenager. Now get upstairs and listen to what she has to say. Yes, <laughs> now, what was I dreaming about? Ooh, yes. Ooh. <laughs> that was great, Cindy. My little friend here wants to be a dancer someday, just like you. She'll never make it. We shouldn't try to smash someone's dream. We can never be sure if we're right. You must be the best, most famous dancer in all the world. <laughs> well, not quite, at least not yet. But someday, maybe, if my dreams come true. You mean you dream of becoming even better than you are now? Of course. Wow. Dreams never end. Now let's get going. You and I have a lot of work to do. Joey. I can dream too, can't I? This is good exercise. It might help me make the team this year. <laughs> what? Yeah, oh, yes, dreaming. I was dreaming. Yes, lots of people have dreams, goals, and they have made them real. And if you don't believe me, look. Here's Mark Thurman. He always dreamed of being a baseball player. Mark. Do you enjoy what you're doing? 
Well, uh, I enjoy competition, and so baseball has really uh, helped me in that regard as far as uh, trying to compete to be the best that I can be. And uh, it's, uh, it's a goal that I think everyone in, in whatever field they're in, they want to be the best that they can be and, and uh, you know, do the best that they can and use the abilities that you were given to do the best that you can. And there is Ricky Sanders of the Redskins. Ricky, when you are on the field, what dreams are you realizing? Uh, when I'm out there, I like to show people that I, I'm i one of the best in the league and uh, my goals are so high, I always set them so I can uh, perform to that level. Yes, it is important for all of us to try to reach our goals to the best of our abilities. Wait, I believe I hear the United States Army Chorus. They're singing their arrangement of the Lookout theme song, which they performed at a recent concert. Alvy Powell, a friend of mine, is a member of that chorus. He sang at President Bush's inauguration. He and another member, Thomas McKinsey, have overcome a lot in order to be successful. I think it's good for a child to do or be what he feels he's good at in his heart uh, and what makes him happy. I'm sure the pressure of, of being a youngster in, this, in today's world, you know, it's probably just awfully difficult. And my best advice I could say is just to um, don't allow anybody to influence you to do something that in your heart you don't want to do. Jim Golderman always dreamed of becoming a singer, but he understands that kids don't always know what they want to be. For, for many of us who have a very early idea of what we want to do, just a, almost an inborn love of music or of architecture or something like that, if you don't have that, I wouldn't despair. I would certainly look into as many possible things, use the libraries, read, look into as many things as possible that interest you and don't be concerned if by the age of 10 or 12 or even 18 or 20 you don't know exactly what you want to do with your life. It takes a lot of, uh, of experimenting with the different things in life to find out where you're going to wind up. Of course, of course, there is no hurry. Now is the time to start thinking about goals and doing things to help us get there. I recently spoke to some of the boys and girls at Chevrolet Tuxedo Elementary School who had some exciting plans for their future. Hi there, young man. What's your name? Huey. Hi, Huey. I'm glad to see you. Are you glad to see me? Yes. Well, at first you didn't seem that way, but now I see that you are. I have a question for you. What do you want to be when you grow up? Um, artist. When you grow up and be a big person, what do you want to be? Um, a dentist. You want to be a dentist. Are you doing anything now to become a movie star to help you? Um, I'm reading books about different movie stars. You are? What else are you doing? And I'm watching, watching shows where movie stars are on. You watch lots of shows and see what they do that have a lot of movie stars in them? Yes. Are you doing anything else to help you? No. Well, you're in the Lookout Kids show right now. You think that'll help? Yes. <laughs> maybe so. Huh? Maybe someday, maybe you'll be discovered. What's important about playing soccer? What do you try to do? You try to, to kick the ball into the goal. Uh, you try to kick the ball into the goal. And how does it feel when you kick the ball into the goal? Feels good. You help somebody else. All right, it's exciting, isn't it? Yes. How do you feel when you miss the goal? You feel upset. You feel upset and down. But what do you do? Do you stop? No. No, what do you do? Keep playing. You keep playing! That's the whole idea. Sometimes you don't make it, but you keep playing and trying to make the goals, don't you? Yes. Yes, of course. Do you want to have a lot of money when you grow up? Yeah. Oh, you do? How much? 
I'm not sure. You're not sure, but you know you want to have a lot. How are you going to get it? Work for it. Going to work for it. Well, what do you think about people who, who sell drugs for it? They shouldn't do it. Why? They can get arrested. Whoa. Well, we don't want to get arrested, do we? No. I should think not. So you're going to work for your money, and you're going to become a lawyer, and you're going to do a lot of reading. Yeah. Well, I think that you are a fine young man, and uh, I would like to hire you as my lawyer one day. Would you do that? Yeah. Good. It sounds wonderful to me. Here is my colleague, Scooby-Doo, with Janine. Come in, Scooby and Janine. Life can be exciting. It certainly can, Janine. As long as we keep a clear head, so we can go after everything we want in life. So there! Now what? I can see that Evelina up in the treehouse. Uh-oh! Look out, kids! Mmm, the smell of spring flowers makes me dream of summer fun. So all of you like dreams, do you? What I have is perfect for dreaming. Hey, what's in that bottle? Everything you ever dreamed of. Stand closer so that you may breathe the magic fumes. Smell the contents of this bottle, and your dreams will become more than you ever imagined. We don't need that stuff to help us dream. That's right. That stuff will just get in the way of our real dreams. Listen to them. You hear what they're saying. Wait, what's happening to Glimmer? Her light is getting weaker. It's the fumes from the bottle. Get out of here with that stuff. Take it and go. You're killing Glimmer. All right for now, you stupid little pickle bumps. But I'll be back. That was a close one. Is Glimmer OK? Her light is getting stronger. Thank goodness. Dangerous. Lucky. Yes. <laughs> So I hope you realize that they got her out of there just in time. Yes, just in time. Fumes. Dangerous. That kind of dreaming is dangerous. Hm, yes, I think the Lookout kids understand that. Yes, it looks like they are ready for the Lookout Theater. Dangerous dreaming. Fumes. Yes, dangerous. Hm. Get em. Get em. What are you doing? Reading a book. What does it look like? A book? Why do you want to do that? It helps me to imagine things in my mind. I can dream of all sorts of exciting places. I can even dream about what I want to be when I grow up. Sounds like a lot of work to me. I know some things you can swallow that make dreaming real easy. Follow me. I must be dreaming now. Rabbits don't talk. You'd better watch out where you're going. You can't even walk in a straight line. Listen, me and my friends are having a tea party. Lots of stuff to help you dream. Follow me. I've got a real good imagination. I don't need anything to help me. But I'll come just to meet your friends, and just because you're in my dream. Tea time. Time for tea. Do you take tea with your sugar? What kind of tea party is this? And what are you drinking? We have absolutely no idea. But it sure makes you lots of dreaming. Dreaming, yeah. Hey, I can hear pink. Want some? No, thank you. Why not? Don't you like dreaming? Yes, I do. But I don't need that stuff to help me. I've got dreams of my own. If you keep drinking that stuff, your dreams are going to turn into nightmares. Whatever has been going on here? Party, Your Majesty. A party? Parties are supposed to be fun, and these two look very miserable and very sick. They are, Your Majesty. Who are you? I'm Alice. And have you been a party to this party? No, Your Majesty. Very good. Guards off with their heads. And now, Alice, you may continue with your dream. Tell me, what do you want to be when you are grown? Sometimes I want to be a doctor. Other times I dream of being a singer. Whatever I decide, 
I know I better stay as healthy a person as possible so that I can be whatever I want to be. Wonderful. Stay away from parties like these and you will be sure to make it. short-term goals for yourself as well as long-range goals. Growing up takes a long time. Be patient and don't be afraid. Don't spoil your chances of success by messing up your brains with drugs. Get that goal! Get that goal! Set it! Get it! You never get it! Get that goal! Sports fans, this is Jason here in the booth today with Tony. Hi, Tony. Hello, Jason. Well, it looks like a lot of action planned for today. It sure does, Jason. Kids everywhere have been practicing hard, studying, and doing everything they can to achieve their goals. I understand that many of the players have set some short goals, ones that they can achieve soon, as well as the big life ones. That's true, Jason. It's important to set short-term goals as well as long-range ones. Now let's go down to the field where the action is. There's Justin set to kick off and deep to receive is Joey Letts. Joey's been looking good this season. He's been doing a lot of dreaming and has a lot of ideas of what he wants to do. There's the kick. Joey has been dreaming all right, but now is not the time. You're right, Jason. There is a time to dream and a time to act on those dreams. The ball is set on the 20-yard line. Wait a minute. Are those girls I see on one of the teams? Yes, they are. You know, Jason, girls can achieve goals just as well as boys. <laughs> Janine receives. She's going. She breaks one tackle. The 20, the 10, she's over the line, she scored a touchdown, listen to that crowd. Well, that's our game, but look how kids really seem to be waking up to their dreams and are setting out to achieve their goals. Thanks for being with us, Tony. Thanks for having me, Jason. And please, everyone, keep dreaming and working for those goals. And remember to look, look out, out, kids. Well, I feel good. I have accomplished my goal. I've shown you how important it is to set goals and to work to achieve them. The rest is up to you. While you're thinking about today's show, you might consider reading some of these books. Gregory the Terrible Eater, Mega Skills. Little too. Yes. <laughs> As I said, it's up to you. And that is what the next show is all about. It's about how your life is your responsibility. So you better take charge of yourself. And remember to look out, kids.